Good afternoon, chubbies. It's day 32. Feeling much better today about the diet, a bit more with it. Not so down in the dumps I've been the last week and a bit. Um, but I thought I'd talk to you today about quitting smoking. I quit smoking on the 15th of July 2019. Was it 2019? 2018? 2018. No, 2019. So it's been two and a half, two and a half years. So 2019. No, 2018, what I'm talking about is Richard's birthday. So and he was, it was his 50th birthday, I quit smoking. Um, and I went to the smoking cessation clinic that the doctors put on. So I went to the doctors for my asthma review. The nurse says, oh, do you want to think about quitting smoking? And I went, no. And she went, are you sure? Have you never thought about quitting smoking? And I was like, no. She's like, well, you do have asthma. You know, you might want to consider quitting smoking. And I said, I've really got no interest in quitting smoking. I really enjoy smoking. And she went, well, humour me. Just go and meet with the guy. The guy's called Theon. She said, he's a really lovely guy. Just go and meet with him. Just humour me. You don't have to go and see him again. Just go and see him once. So I turned up. I eventually gave in to the nurse. Um, and I turned up. And I genuinely had no intention of quitting smoking. And I said to him, you know, the nurse sort of convinced me to come along to see you. And I really don't have any interest in quitting smoking. And he basically went, that's absolutely fine. So it's not a problem at all. Let's talk about your smoking habits. So we talked about it. And then he went to me, he said, oh, he said, it's absolutely fine. We get this all the time. You're, you're probably one of these people who just can't quit. Well, that's like a red rag to a ball to me to tell me I can't do something. <laughs> and I think he sussed that straight away. So literally, I he put me on these Champix tablets. He's supposed to take them for three months. I took them for a month. I bought myself a vape. And then I just, I, I did them for, a, I did the, the tablets for a month and then I just stopped smoking. And I had to go and see him every week without fail at a set time. And I had to blow into this carbon dioxide detector, carbon monoxide detector, and to know whether I'd smoked or not. So I couldn't cheat. Just, then they'd sort of know if you'd smoked within 24 hours. Now, if you smoke, you know to go 24 hours without a fag is quite hard. Once you get past that 24 hours, it's actually it's not as bad. Well, that was two and a half years ago, and I haven't smoked. So, um, yeah, no smoking is good. <laughs> and if you want to quit, go and see the, the smoking cessation guy, because if it worked for me, the only thing is, losing weight is a lot freaking harder if you don't smoke. A lot harder. Hell of a lot harder. Like, gargantuously harder. But you don't smoke, so your asthma's always good. Um, that's it, smoking, and I will speak to you tomorrow. Take care, bye.